Hi, what I've got for you here is a restorative yoga class. Um, so what that means is we're going to be doing um, poses that allow the body to rest and recuperate. It means that we're going to be using some um, supports to allow the body to really release to the floor. So the idea being that you enter a pose, get comfortable, and using the supports, you can really allow the weight of the body to do the work of the pose. So I've got a yoga, a yoga bolster over here. Um, you can have a couple of firm pillows, um, if you like. Um, a pillow, a blanket, and of course our yoga mat. So if you want to pause the video and get any of those um, props, you can do so now. Um, otherwise, we'll get started. So I'm going to get you to come into a supported child's pose. So what that means is you're going to get your um, block or your pillows. So if you're using the pillows, a couple of pillows on top of each other, and you are going to bring the knees nice and wide, bring the big toes together, and come down from here into a child's pose. So you're just walking the hands forward and then resting the body down. So moving the bolster to wherever you need it to be to, to get comfortable and allow the upper body to relax down. So get comfortable here. We're going to stay in each pose for about two minutes. So you really want to make any adjustments you need to to feel comfortable for that length of time. And once there, we're going to focus on the breathing. So get yourself comfortable here in your child's pose. Big toes together, knees nice and wide. You can rest down on either the right or left cheek. Or if it's comfortable, you can rest your forehead onto the bolster. And just breathe, allow the weight to settle down. Feel the hips releasing. Feel the whole of the upper body settling down towards the ground, resting on the bolster. You can relax the jaw and the shoulders and be aware of the breath moving in the body. With each breath, see if you can release a little bit more of the weight, surrender a little bit more towards the ground. Let the weight of the body do the work. And then you can, if you're on the cheek, you can turn to rest the other cheek. And see if you can scan the body as you rest down here. See where you feel any areas of tightness or tension. And can you allow the breath to melt those areas of tension, melt away any tightness or holding? Last couple of breaths here. Nice long breaths. And then we're gonna walk the hands in slowly, slowly. 
Coming up, you can push away your cushions or your bolster. And we'll come to cross-legged pose um, for, the next, for the next movement. So you can bring the hands onto the knees. And on our inhale, we're gonna tilt the hips forward, tilt the pelvis forward, look up and um, drop the belly forward. So you're opening the chest, a little bit of a curve here in the lower back, look up. Exhale, draw the belly in, round the spine, come back a little bit towards the tailbone. Inhale, rock forward again, open the chest, open heart, look up. Exhale, round the spine. Inhale, forward. Exhale, round the spine. And you can close the eyes here if you like. See if you can go and really go really deeply into the pose. Rocking over and back on the sitting bones. So this is a seated version of the cat-cow pose that you would do on the hands and knees. And smile, lift the heart center. As you inhale, as you exhale, round the spine. Draw the belly in. Again, have one more time, come forward. Exhale, round the spine. And then come back to our easy cross legs. We're gonna move into a hip, um, kind of an opener for the front hip now, supported frog pose. So I'm going to use a bolster and um, what you can do is use maybe one of your pillows, depending on how firm they are. And you're going to come down onto your front. So come all the way down, push the cushion or push the um, pillow out in front of you. And then you're going to bring it underneath. <laughs> Sorry, I'm going to come back up. You're gonna bring it underneath. My this, this bolster is probably a bit, <laughs> probably a bit high. So you're resting the upper body down towards the bolster. So really, maybe you only use one pillow here just to get a bit of height on the upper body. And then what you're gonna do is take the left leg out to the side and bring it up to hip height. So the knee is in line with the hip here. And that's it. This is just an opening for the hip. So you can. Rest the forehead down onto the pillow or rest the cheek down. Allow the elbows to come out so you can fully rest the upper body down towards the ground. And we're going to breathe here. Allow the weight of the hips to open out the front of the pelvis the front of the groin. And again, see if you can let go of the weight of the body here. Can you surrender everything down towards the ground? And then we're going to slowly come up, walk the hands in, bring that knee in, give the hip to shake and we will come to the other side. So bringing the upper body down over the pillow or over your um, bolster, whatever you've got, get yourself comfortable. 
and then bringing now the opposite knee up so that it's in line with the hip. And then resting down on the cheek. With each breath, can you let go? Maybe exhale through the mouth a couple of times. <sighs> Release any holding. Feel that lovely opening in the front of the hip, in the groin. And if the mind starts to wander, all you got to do is gently bring it back to the breath. So it's pretty easy for the mind to wander when we're holding these poses for a bit longer. And it's just the process of returning to the breath and practicing that returning of your awareness to the breath that, that allows it to become a more natural thing, that allows the mind to calm and quiet a little bit, a little bit more. Lovely. And then we're going to Come out of this so you can bring the knee back. Press into the hands, come up onto the knees. Have a quick little child's pose from here. And then we'll come forward and we are going to do a supported forward bend with our bolster. So you're going to get your bolster and this time you're going to need, you're probably going to need your two cushions. Um, you may even need your blanket or your extra pillow on top. Um, or I mean, sorry, you're going to need your pillows stretched out one on top of the other. Um, you might even want your blanket on top or your um, cushion that you've got. And so what we're going to do from here, um, our forward bend. <laughs> the light is getting really bright in here. <laughs> so I hope you can still see me. We're going to inhale the arms up, lengthen through the upper body. Exhale, stretch the arms forward and get your um, pillows to a comfortable place for you to be able to rest your upper body down onto the pillows. You can rest the arms down, you can rest the arms on the, um, on the bolster or the pillows. And again, breathe here so you can bring the forehead down or rest on the cheek. Again, can you let go? Let go of all holding, release the weight down. I'm going to inhale, lift up a little bit and see if you can fold down again from the hips. This time, bring the opposite cheek down. If you feel you need that bit more height, you can always rest on your hands or you can put the, the cushion that you've got here underneath your head. Last couple of breaths.
and then slowly coming up. <laughs> We're going to do a, a chest opener <laughs> from here. Um, so you're going to be coming down onto your back, but you want to bring your bolster or your pillows behind you like so. And what we're going to do is we're going to lie back onto the bolsters. And we want to get a bit of height for the head so we can put the pillow there. Or you can put your blanket there if you like. And you can even if you want to get a bit more height so you can see when you come into it what exactly you need you need here on, on top of the pillows, on top of the bolster, because it really depends on how firm your pillows are that you've got. Just get your bum in nice and close to the bolster. Inhale here. Long in the spine. And exhale slowly, slowly. Make your way down onto your bolster or your pillows. You can stretch the legs out. So we're kind of going for this angle on the upper body here. If you can manage to get that with your pillows and your cushion and your blanket. Get yourself comfortable. Make any final adjustments and then close the eyes. Allow the shoulders to relax down. And feel the spaciousness of the breath moving in the chest. And what you want here also is a slight tilt of the chin towards the towards the chest. So if you find that the um, head is reaching back and the throat is kind of opening um, a lot towards the ceiling, you might want to readjust yourself and get your maybe even fold over your blanket or your pillow to um, to get a nice angle on the neck. And breathe. Again, see by scanning the body, where are you holding tension? Can you let go, allow the upper body to be heavy? Allow the shoulders to release down. And allow the legs to relax. And then getting ready to come out. You can, bring, you can bring the hands in close to the bum, close to your supports. Press into the hands as you come up slowly. And we're going to do a reclined um, Baddha Konasana, reclined tailor pose from here. So what we want to do is get support. So the reclined Baddha Konasana is um, the soles of the feet together, the knees opening out to the sides, but we're going to be lying down. So what you want to do here is have a support. It's going to come underneath the thighs like so, like this, but once you're lying down. <laughs> so you can get your cushion, you can probably, if you've got your pillows, one pillow under each leg would be nice. I'm going to use my um, cushion and my, um, and my blanket. 
bringing them in close to the close to the hips here and then making my way down bring the soles of the feet together and bring those supports in where they need to be to really support the legs so you can if you feel like you need to double them over to give you that support you can do that We just really try and make sure you feel nicely supported. Open the arms out. Sew the feet together. And again, scan the body to see where are you holding tension. And can you release that tension on your next exhale? And then from here, we're going to come up, bring the knees together. We're going to take um, the blankets away and we're going to take a um, twist. So you can drop the knees out to the left side, stretch the arms out, look towards the right hand. Close the eyes and again, allow the weight to do the work. If you want to, you can bring um, the left hand to the outside of the right thigh. Encouraging those knees to come down. And with each breath, allow the shoulder, that right shoulder to be heavy, sink down towards the mat. Once again, if you find the mind wandering, wondering, wondering about what you're doing here, can you just bring it back to feeling the movement of the breath in the body? And we'll come to the other side, bring the knees back up to center and then down to the right. Taking, taking away any props that you had there, stretch the arms out. Look towards the left hand, palm is facing up. Maybe you feel like the twist is wringing out any last bits of tension in the body.
And then we're going to come back up to center. And we'll have one um, last pose before our Shavasana or relaxation. And that is Viparita Karani, which is um, legs up the wall pose. So what you're going to do is um, find a space where you can um, sit up nice and close to the wall. So we get in nice and close to the wall. Bring the bum in really close. And what you want to do is swing the legs up, come over to rest on your back. You can shuffle the bum in towards the wall. Shuffle all the way in and then bring the legs up, upper body down. You can shuffle the bum in a little bit more and bring the legs up. And then bring the arms out. Once again, allow the wall to hold the weight of the legs. And allow the floor to take the weight of the upper body. Tilt the chin slightly towards the chest to lengthen out the back of the neck. Now feel how nice it is to um, stretch those legs up the wall. It's going to feel really good if you've got tired or sore legs. If you've been on your feet all day. Last few breaths. And then we're going to walk the feet down the wall. Roll over to the side and then come up and we're going to come into, I'm going to get you to come into, um, into Shavasana, into your final relaxation. So you can use the bolster or the pillows underneath your knees for a bit of support and the pillow underneath your head as you come to lie down in your Shavasana. Getting comfortable, getting into a place where you can relax the whole of the body down to the ground. So staying here, staying with the breath. And can you can you bring real awareness now to the rise and fall of the tummy with the breath? Can you bring your hands on top of your heart center, the right hand on top of the left? Maybe you feel your heart beating here. As you breathe in, feel the expansion in your chest, forward, then to the sides, and then to the back of the chest.
Imagine now a ball of pure love in your heart. Visualize and feel it grow with each inhale. Feel this unconditional love and deep peace flowing through your heart center and reaching every part of your body. With each inhale, welcome and invite more love, compassion and gratitude into your heart space. And with each exhale, can you allow any old emotions that no longer serve you to leave your physical and emotional body? Stay connected now to the feeling of pure love Bathe in it. Let it surround you warmly and peacefully. Remain with this sensation and allow it to recharge your heart for as long as you enjoy it. Staying here for as long as you like. The video is going to come to an end in a few moments. So you can come out or you can feel free to stay here. Thank you for practicing. Namaste.